together. So the, the question was raised as far as uh, uh, you know where are the citizens going to live. Um, the, the question that came to mind for me immediately after was more a matter of how are the citizens going to live. Um, as I mentioned, we've lived here since 2005. Um, I've been in now with different opportunities, but since 2019, I've been pretty well established here, and specifically at the residence on Valdell Road. And uh, since then, you know, we've had the uh, crazy kind of COVID stuff happening, and it's really changed probably everyone's life, but I would definitely emphasize with mine that um, it's like I would say 2020 and COVID really changed my life, and I would say for the better. It's really been a, a wonderful thing, what has been uncovered for me, and um, and so I just, uh, you know, I, I think of myself, and I know it's been a really um, powerful thing for my parents, and uh, and so I think of like, you know, for instance, like Paige here and Aaron, like your kids are awesome. And I know that, you know, and so I think of that in, in those terms and how I'm sure everybody else on the board has kids, grandkids, like you guys, it's, it's always a matter of thinking forward. And I, I feel very safe making that assumption. And so um, I just wanted to uh, recognize that and uh, and just now at this point, I guess, share the more personal sentiments that might help to emphasize the value of a um, rural uh, residential zoning. And, uh, so we bought our first um, our first cow uh, last year, right before Christmas, and it really has changed my life. I'm really good. Just become so connected to I apologize. Just to be so connected to the land and to literally um, it's 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 fine if it doesn't blow your mind too, but allow me to give you a brief uh, ex bit of exposure to my experience. Uh, when my cows in milk, I go out twice a day and I milk her by hand. She's very generous. She's a Guernsey cow. Still has her horns, so I have to watch her a little bit. And uh, and she'll give at least two gallons of milk. And uh, we love it so much. We drink it raw. It's, it's a beautiful thing. We bring it in. I filter it and uh, put it in jars. And um, if there's any left in the jar, this is my favorite thing to tell people about oh, this. Is, huh? We put it in jars. If there's any left in the bucket, I just pour it into a glass and filter it. And that milk is still warm from my cow. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I think of the opportunities that are available to, um, to people who maybe have struggled a lot during COVID and, and are very unsure of things, and, and how for me personally, the value of having land and being able to have a cow and milk her and just see the beauty of the earth and how God has made it to be and how I'm a better person for it. And I can serve this community and I have a stronger desire to serve this community. And so um, that's the main thing I wanted to really emphasize that it's really it's really changed my life 
And, um, and I know that especially, I would say that people more towards my age group are very much the struggling right now to find value and meaning in their lives. And one way that I think that, you know, God allowed us to do that is to reconnect to the land and the world and the place where we are. And not to just go to Publix or wherever you shop for your groceries and buy a piece of meat that's wrapped in cellophane. I learned how to put your chickens within the past, you know, two months. And it was so humbling and rewarding. And I just think that if the zoning has changed, you know, so many other people feel the same way. There's just... It, there's a, there's a way that we're meant to be as men and women that God is to be. And there's, there's certain things that there's this beauty in knowing it. And I just think that that's something that could be missed out on if people live um, in a place where they don't have access to you know, a neighbor who has chickens, even if they don't, you know, or something like that. So that was really the main thing I wanted to emphasize. And I know not everyone has that experience, but I think many other people would benefit from being able to. If you don't mind, please tell your daughters that I'm crazy about them. It's for you. Um, I believe that's uh, all I really have to say. And so if you guys have any questions, um, thank you very much. Thank you, Nikki. Um,